Guess what? It snowed again. Um, got a couple thoughts on this. Um, this used to be something that really stressed me out uh, when I would uh, kind of get home from a uh, long time away at work and find snow on the ground that had been driven over and compacted or uh, you get up in the morning thinking you're going to get stuff done or you got to be out the door and there's snow on the ground uh, and this is where I really enjoy having this snow sport plow um, and I've gotten some comments from people that have just gotten them or have an interest in them and I would tell you in the spring because these don't have the weight of a uh, hydraulic plow like a big metal one with a uh, with a uh, cutting edge on it um, if you get a little ice melt down when you get these uh, spring thaw and freeze where the ice gets bad you'll notice that it does quite a bit better job cleaning down to the pavement so we'll see how it does here today and this should go really quick um, we got I'm not sure uh, inch and a half to two inches I think in our area so this used to take me quite a bit of time I'd expect cleaning this up will take me about 15 minutes observation you get in the spring here you'll notice there's quite a bit of ice down on this gravel part of the driveway um, there's no snow to load it up and the ice slick so the plow won't re-engage you see there it goes um, that that's one thing to consider when you get a light dusting of snow with the snow sport if you don't get a little bit of load on it uh, it won't trip that plow again uh, unless you hit some grass or gravel or dry pavement or something that'll catch that rubber edge. Um, not a deal breaker for me, just something to be mindful of. Um, this thing is uh, really handy, but it isn't uh, completely foolproof. I uh, see not here, it won't trip until I hit fresh snow. There it goes. Just something to, like I said, something to be aware of before you buy. Okay, one of the questions that somebody posed, uh, a fellow named Sean, also from Wisconsin here, uh, he, uh, he uses the hold down strap. I have done it in the past with a heavy strap like you would use for cargo on a uh, flatbed semi-trailer. Probably overkill, but it's what I had laying around. Uh, the question is uh, about the plow bouncing and chattering. Um, and yeah, uh, it will. Once you get her broke in a little bit though, as you can see, it, um, it will be a little better. Uh, the other thing too is if you are doing it on a really sticky surface you're more likely to get it to bounce and chatter. So this driveway has got a bit of um, snow and ice on it so you can get a decent amount of speed up without the plow bouncing all over the place. If this was the first snow of the year it'd be a lot more likely to bounce around. Um, but I do think uh, you got to find what works for your vehicle. So I guess that's kind of my thoughts on the whole down strap and bouncing around. Um, that the more snow you get, the better this plow works. Uh, the lighter, the you know dusty, uh, really dry snow it. It tends to bounce more. Uh, this is pretty, pretty light, fluffy, dry snow. Uh, but this plow is pretty well broken in. I mean, it's got years and years of use on it. When I first got it, it was worse than it is now. So I guess keep that in mind um, too. For those of you that have asked questions or are interested, the more you use it, the better it seems to work.
the snow sport tends to leave a little bit of a film of uh, snow on the driveway, but if you get a little ice melt or something down first, I mean, it, it does a pretty good job of getting it close to the pavement. It's not gonna scrape ice and stuff off like something with a metal cutting edge, but it, uh, it does a fair job. If anybody's interested in this, the Toro Power Clear is the little four stroke uh, snow throwers. Uh, I tell you, these things are fantastic. Several people in the family have them. I borrowed this one. It's just quicker than my uh, snow blower to get in and out of places. It's not self propelled, it's kind of a pain around here when you got to move it. 100 yards from one part of the property to the other, which is why um, I tend to use myself propelled for walking it around because I can just drive it where I need it. But I tell you what, in heavy snow or for the kids, um, these things are fantastic. They're fuel efficient, they're light, uh, starts on the first pole, 